Are you ready for the July Junk Journal Challenge? Stay tuned for details. Deadline, July 31st, 2021. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with the July Challenge. So the information for the July Challenge, you asked for it, you got it. We are, <laughs> we are finishing. We are going to the finish line. I know several of you mentioned that you have projects that are not finished and you would like a catch up. So we are going to play catch up, but at the same time, we do have some rules. We have some perimeters and we're looking forward to seeing you finish as many journals as you can. Don't worry if you don't have something that needs to be finished. You can play this too. You can make a new journal and then make items that go into your stash or for possibly another project that you have coming up. So um, the deadline for this is going to be July 31st, 2021. And we are continuing our just junk theme as far as the bases. So for the bases, when we get to the elements, you are going to continue to use junk. Um, the, the same type of things that we used in June. Okay. And now the, the other thing is, is in along with that, you are also going to be using whatever your little kits were that you had put together. So for instance, if you are finishing your June journal and you've put together your little June kit, then that's what you're going to use to finish your June journal. If you're finishing your May, um, that was your May make a kit journal. <laughs> it's literally you're making, so you use that. Um, and the, the one difference is, is that we, you can use all of your tools. Okay. You can use any stamps, any stencils, anything that's going to help you finish and get these put away. <laughs> but your bases for all of the elements that we're going to be making need to be some kind of junk. And I'll go into what we are considering junk. And you can look at the, um, the details video for the Just June, uh, the June Just Junk Journal Challenge. You can watch that and get an idea of what we are considering junk. Okay. Um, because it's, it's a continuation, okay? So we're gonna have you finish one, two, three, or more, or add some embellishments to your storage. <laughs> yeah, there you go, okay? So finish as many journals as you can, post them each time you finish one, and um, we'll, we're gonna all give you a little emoji medal or a little trophy for each journal that you finish. Um, I think I have within arm's distance at least 10 journals that could be finished. And some of them, it's just a matter of they need some tags or they need to be bound. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to be doing that. Okay. And then let's see. So I want you to go ahead and be thinking about what do you need to be able to finish that journal or the journals that are on your shelves? Um, so you, you probably remember, oh yeah, I was doing that and I didn't have printer ink. So I didn't get to make, add the digitals that I wanted to it or whatever. Okay. So just finish it, get it finished. And, um, and we're going to be so excited again. Remember we're using just, I'm going to tell you this several times. Okay. We're using just junk for the bases. Um, we are finishing at least one journal. Okay, we are making the 15 categories to add to that journal, other journals, or to our stash for our future journal. Okay, so um, you're going to see the list in just a moment, and maybe you only need three tags or four tags to finish your journal. Then you're going to make whatever the category list amount that you need, and those can go into your um, into your stash or into one of the other journals, so you can get a second one. Sorry, a second one finished. Okay, number three, for each journal we are working on, A, we are using the items we chose before for those journals. So like I have a box over there for January's journal. There's a box for February. <laughs> They're not done. I, I think I finished March, right? And I think I finished, I might have finished April. I might not have. Um, May is finished. It's over here. It just needs... Um, it just, I don't, I don't remember if it needs, I don't think it needs anything. I think it needs to be put in the shop. 
I think it needs to be put in the shop. So I will put that in the shop today. So, and I'll put the um, flip through of my May journal in the description box down below. I think that's all that one needs. And then it will be, <laughs> it can, it can be out of here. So that was my May make a kit journal. Yeah. I don't remember what I made in April, but that one will be in, it's in the shop. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, B, you're using scrapbook paper from your stash. Okay. So it can be a paper pad or scrapbook paper this time. Remember, I've been doing a paper pads, but this time, you know, if you just need one sheet, <laughs> you need some tags, maybe you can pull out one sheet or sheet or scraps and go ahead and use that. Okay. So there's that. Um, and then a uh, dear Julie, Julie digital, at least five pages. So you can make ephemera, you can make, I mean, you can do one video and make five, do five pages of Dear Julie Julie ephemera and add it to your stash, but you do need to use a Dear Julie Julie digital. And that's because I told you that we would be using them all the way through the rest of the year. And I'm like, well, how can I have it? And I did tell you, so there's that. And um, remember that there is a free Dear Julie Julie digital, digital, full digital pages, embellishments, all the stuff in the file section in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. So, and then there are 80, I believe it's 89 digital kits in the, in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Okay. And, um, yeah, so Dear Julie Julie digital, at least five pages of them. Okay. So let's see, what do we've got here? This will be a little different as you are on your honor that you make these 15 categories during July. And you're going to make them and then you're going to post them in the elements post. Um, you'll see in the Facebook group, I'm going to be, there will be a Facebook group that you will have the information at the end of this video on where to go. And um, so you will make the 15 categories and put them in the um, description box down or in the description box in the post in the Facebook group. And again, you are on your honor that you made those during July. Okay. Um, and, and then also make sure that you're putting your finished journal posts or your finished journal in the finished journal posts. Okay. And so let's go ahead and I'm going to tell you what we're going to be making. One more time. We are using just junk told you, for the basis of each of the following items. Then you will deco them with your kit or stash. So you're going to embellish them with at least three things. And that can be a texture. It can be um, an item. It can be anything like that. So it can be stamping, stenciling, sewing, painting. Um, it can be actually taking and putting a piece of napkin on and some type of other thing and, uh, you know, and some trim. Okay. But you need to have, it needs to be upgraded with at least three things. Okay. At least three things. And we are in a countdown to the finish line. So 14 inch snippet. So 14 inch snippet, 13 stenciled and stamped pages. Um, they don't need to be both, uh, but you know, some can be stenciled, some can be stamped, some can be both, but when they're both, it counts as one page, just one page. Okay. So 13 pages. Um, and remember, you can put some of these in for another project. 12 ready tabs and ready edges. So if you don't know what a ready tab or a ready edge, I will be doing that video in the very beginning of this challenge. I do, I will be doing a video on each of these. Some of them I may put together and do two at the same time, two things, but um, so that you know what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Um, 11 tags assorted. They can be portrait or landscape. And um, let's see, 10 assorted pockets. So just 10 different pockets. Now your pockets can already be a page, okay? Can already be a page, or you can make a pocket that is to go on a page, like maybe a flip up pocket that's gonna go on a page. Remember, it has to have its three items. But your base, remember your base of each of these would have to be um, junk. So maybe this might be your pocket base. Okay. A paint chip might be your pocket base and, um, and then you decorate it with your, your three things. Okay. At least three things. Okay. 
Um, so that was pockets. Nine, quarter, corner, excuse me, corner and border tucks. So a total of nine of them. So a corner tuck, it could be a corner tuck, you know, it could be a border tuck where the, where it's tucked down and you're putting things in at like that. Okay. So again, if you're not sure, I will be doing that at the, in the first few pa days there. Page over, over eight, page over and corner clips page over and corner clips, seven flips, flaps, and folds. Again, these can be pages or embellishments. So it can be a page that has a flip. It can be a page that has a flap on it. So flip, it can be a flip with a flap on it <laughs> um, and folds. So flip, flaps, and folds. Uh, that's seven of them. So you can do flip flops. You can do flip flops with the flap. You can do flip up, flip downs. Okay. So all of those things, those are, if you've been here on my channel for a while, these are things that I make all the time. And a lot of them, I gave my own name because I was giving them a name before I knew that there was another existing name. Um, six large tags, seven inches tall. If you're doing like a nine by six journal, um, if you're doing a smaller journal, then want it to be where it's it's coming up almost to the top of the page. It almost fills the page. Um, so, so seven inch or almost fills the page. And that's six of them. Five, five charms and a five inch or more tassel. So I have my a tassel on here. This was made with um, a shirt that I was throwing away. Okay, so we have a garment, we have a curtain that was um, going to the Goodwill or going, getting thrown away. So, and it's five inches long. Okay, this is off a piece of broken jewelry. So tassel um, or, and five charms. Okay, and your charms need to have bases that are junk. So remember we did make a bottle cap charm in the, uh, during the June challenge. That's an idea for one, okay? Um, and you can also look under the Just Junk Journal Challenge, January Just Junk Journal Challenges, June Just Junk Journal Challenges on the Dear Julie Julie channel for lots of um, ideas for bases using junk. For large file card or folders for the large pockets. So you have a journal and you have your pages. Do I have any? <laughs> okay, so you've got you've got your pages and you've decided to make a pocket out of these two pages. So your file card or file folder is what your insert is going to be. That's going to fit in that large pocket and you're going to make four of them. Okay. Remember we're finishing a journal, but we're making all these things so that it can help us finish our other ones too. It still needed to be a challenge, not a free for all. Um, three covers, finished. So this might get you ahead. You can, and this is, this is kind of what you need to have. Okay. So you need to have them at the point that they are ready to be, um, turned into what they're going to be. Okay. So this one, obviously it's daisies. It is, it's going to be my, a, a personal journal for me, probably, maybe, maybe not, but, um, it has, the cover is ready. Um, the inside is ready. It's ready for pockets. I did already put the eyelet in it. Um, if you like to put your closure underneath here, then however you're going to do your closure, you have that already figured out for this. This one, at that, the time I was making this, all my closures were just tie closures. Okay, so um, it can be hard covers. It can be soft covers, but you need to have three of them up to being ready for something to be sewn in it. Okay, so three of them. Um, if you do uh, binder type things or the rings, they need to be, they need to have the, you know, they need to be ready to be put together. Okay, so three covers finished. Two envelope wallet inserts. Um, so you've, we've done a variety of different ones. So you're going to take at least two, should probably be three, but at least two wallets or wallets, two envelopes. 
and you're going to make yeah, it's three it's a trifold wallet okay so three wallets and make your trifold wallet faces okay so it's going to open this way this one somehow you're going to put this on the back here and um so the three are connected okay so a three envelope wallet wallet style so a trifold wallet style um envelope and you're going to make two of those two of those and they're inserts they go into the pocket somewhere or they can be paper clipped inside um and then one you're going to bind a journal now if you are making a ring um, bound journal then you need to bind it with your rings if you are um making you know a stitched one then you bind your stitched journal if you need to make you need to bind one journal so if you if your journal that you're finishing is already bound then you need to bind another you know another one okay so you're going to bind a journal it can be bound with rings it can be bound with um stitching but you need to show us a bound journal that you bind in july okay um it can be any size or any theme. You don't forget you need to use five Dear Julie Julie Digi pages or more and use five scrapbook papers or more. Um, and your they, they can be used within this as well. So you can take your junk and your five scrapbook papers and that's what you're using for your bases in here. Because we are trying to use up scrapbook papers so in some places we get to substitute a scrapbook or a cardstock paper for a junk okay but no more than half of whatever you're making if you're making um 11 tags assorted then or 10 assorted pockets no more than five of them can be scrapbook paper okay got that no more than half <laughs> okay because it will come up okay so those are your your um your there's 14 items here plus your five dear julie julie digi pages and that's where I came up with, that was the 15th um, element. The scrapbook papers can go all throughout, but you need to make sure you're using five pages of Dear Julie Julie pages. Okay, um, please make a photo album with your name in the title so I can find you to add you to the VIP. Our VIP is our virtual internet party. This is a gift from me for all that finish their challenge journals on time and post correctly. The VIP starts with a Facebook group your digital will be waiting for you there and an actual two hour virtual party where we play with the new digital. The VIP for July finishers will be August 25th, one o'clock Pacific Standard Time, save the date. Remember that we changed our VIPs to the fourth Wednesday. So they are now the fourth Wednesday because what happens is third Wednesday, I'm still working on the challenge journal and now I've got, it's just, it's too much but I should be able to finish the challenge journal and be able to have the, um, the VIP on my desk and not, that's what's happening. I'm not finishing things because I have to, I'm starting the next thing. I need to finish. Okay, so remember to add your video to the video finished post so we can all watch it. So if you make a video, then you add it to the post that says, I finished, put your video here. It can be a YouTube video or it can just be the video. If you can upload straight from your device onto Facebook, you can do that. Um, so I recommend the video because it gives a better look. You can explain, but also the pictures are amazing, especially for people that don't have time to watch a whole video. So if you, if you have the photo album with your pictures and they can see everything, it might just make them want to go watch your video. But um, I need it to have your name so that I can find you, so that I can invite you to the VIP. Okay. Um, I use these I finished posts to find those to invite to the VIP. We will continue our Friday mini challenge in the challenges. You can make those challenge projects for the journals you are finishing or for future projects. And that's how we usually do those. Um, but this time, definitely. <laughs> if you have no unfinished journals, you can make one so that you can participate in this challenge. You can fill with items from the 15 elements categories you make, um, 15 element categories. 
and you don't have to use all of them in your journal. Extras can go into your stash or into another journal. So we are finishing at least one journal, whether it's already started or you are making one. Again, our deadline is July 31st. 2021. Now a little bit of housekeeping with the way these things work is I'm going to, the group will be at the end of this video so that um, you can go and, um, and join the group. Make sure you answer the questions so that we can let you in. Um, there's been a lot of um, strange activity on YouTube. Uh, people being in places that they shouldn't be. People asking for things that they shouldn't ask for. Um, speaking of that, I will not be asking directly from you for money or support um, ex except for the places that you have seen. I will send you to my Etsy shop, to my Dear Julie Julie Patreon, and to the other Dear Julie Julie channel, but I'm not going to email you and ask you to send me money or I'm not going to ask you to text to something. Um, we are seeing, as YouTubers, we are seeing more and more of this happening. And um, so so just know, you, you know how I talk. You know that I write the same way that I talk. And so just pay attention and know that I won't be doing that. Okay? Um, so, again, deadline is July 31st. We will have our mini challenges in the challenge. There possibly may be some free get digitals and that kind of things that will show up in the group. Um, we do do a separate Facebook group for each challenge so that all of that can be in there. There will be posts in there for you to post your finished uh, projects for each of the element categories. And we do that for inspiration so that each, you know, we can, if we're stuck and to get other ideas as well as for you to learn to learn how to share. That sounds funny. But for you to, to be able to um, to share your beautiful projects with everyone. Um, if you feel comfortable doing a video, highly recommend it. And it's all, you know, steps and steps and steps and steps. And the, these challenges are made so that the brand new person that has never made a journal before can come in and make one. And those that are very um, advanced, can make one too. It's not a contest. It is a contest to finish. Okay. And, um, so I don't do the part participation trophy, but I do do a finish trophy and that's our VIP. <laughs> okay. Um, a little bit about in the Facebook group, you're going to find a post that says, post your questions here. I ask that you post your questions in that box. Because if you are wondering and asking, someone else is probably wondering and asking too. So if we can put the questions there and answer the questions there, um, that works really, really good. The other thing is, is other people will probably be able to answer before I do. And um, if they are brave enough to answer, they probably know the answer. Okay, I will try and answer when I can. Um, but I we, we trust that... <laughs> that they will and a couple of them have direct way to get a hold of me and um, to, to point point it out that I need to go there and check the questions okay um, if you ask a question in the chat of a premier um, please also go and ask the question in the question box so that we can answer it there not everybody watches the live chat while they watch a video and um, so it, it just would, it will, it will help. It helps make all these things go. So, um, yeah, so this is our July just junk to the finish, uh, countdown. And so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, you asked, I listened and here you go. I had an, a separate challenge for this month that probably would have put more stuff in our craft room as well as another journal in the pile. So let's finish some and hopefully one of the other months I can bring that challenge in. Okay, so it's July 1st. Don't forget if you don't have a Dear Julie Julie digital, you can check out the file section in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. And um, there are, it's a full digital that's there in the file section. Um, meant to be while we were home, safer at home. It looks like it's going to stay. Um, it's really 
cool. It's very, it's antique and vintage and fun and butterflies and kids and flowers. And it is a great little junk journal kit. And it also will go really well with the Daisy Kids. So find something to celebrate every day. I look forward to seeing you in the July Just Junk to the Finish Facebook group. And while we've got that, let's go ahead and figure out what our um, what our hashtag is going to be. So we are going to be July Just Junk to the Finish. Okay. July Just Junk to the to the Finish. Oh, Junk Journal Challenge. July, just junk to the finish junk journal challenge. Okay. So I look forward to seeing you at the finish line and at the VIP on August 25th, 2021. Let's go out and finish some journals. Yay. <laughs> Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, Facebook group is listed in the description box down below. See you there. Bye.